And good afternoon and welcome to Pedersen Rovers Post Office Road for this inaugural match in uh, Papua New Guinea's first ever tour of Great Britain. And what a place to start the tour. One of the hotbeds of rugby league, Featherstone Rovers. And the teams are walking out now, and I'll give you the teams, starting with the Papua New Guineans. In the number one, Matthias Kittiman. Of course, the Papua New Guinea lads are wearing their squad numbers rather than uh, the numbers we'd expect, expect of them to wear, 1 to 13. And of course, the forwards play backwards way round, and uh, uh, it's. Uh, Rather than 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, it's the other way around for the Papua New right Guinea lads. Matthias Kittiman is number one, uh, wearing number 11, wearing number nine, First James Capia. Number Guinea two side. is Lato Atoy, he's in the right uh, centre. The left centre is Balnamapo, well known, good player this lad. Uh, number 23, wearing 23, is Kepisaya. Uh, Wearing number five, Darius Haley. Wearing number ten is Tony Keeler. Number 24, Ariba Town Taumaka. Wearing number 12, Matthias Combra. Wearing number 26 is Bernard Wakexi. Wearing number 16, Ati Lamatopa. Wearing number six is Roy Henney. Wearing number 25 is Joe Tepp. At 14, Derek Heatover, and he is the sub at 14. And number 22, squad number Thomas Rumba. The Rover side, number one, Chris Bidd, number two, Daisy Jones, number three, Danny Beach, number four, Ian Smales, number five, Richard Marsh. Stand off, we have Johnny Crossley, number seven is Derek Fox, number eight, Tim Slatter. Number nine, Tony Staniforth. Number 10 is Gary Siddall. And number 11 is Mark Campbell. Also in the second row, we have Peter Smith. Number 13 is Paul Lyman. And the two substitutes, the old stager, Keith Bell is number 14. And number 15, a younger lad, Paul Geary. And what a, what a pleasure it is to say those names after the Papua New Guinea names, I'll tell you. Referee today is Mr. Jim Smith of Halifax. Number 12, Peter Smith. And the teams lining up for the kickoff here now. And they really look a colourful set, these uh, Papua New Guinea lads. And I'm sure they're going to enjoy this first game of the first tour of Great Britain. And referee Mr Smith gets the game in action. And the ball's put deep. And here come New Guinea now, away from their own line. And uh, it's... Uh, Tim Slatter there in with a the tackle. And again, good tackling there, but that's good running also from the Papua New Guineans. Ball coming well, well out there to Kepi Sayer. And this time the ball's going deep into the Rovers, right down into the Rovers 25. Chris Bibb has to turn, he takes the ball well. Uh, beats one man, but he's, uh, he's well tackled on his own 25 in the end. Here's Peter Smith at the play of the ball. He goes forward. Side steps his way past one man, but again, he's well knocked down. Derek Fox at first man. Puts it wide. And uh, Ian Smales there, trying to get his winger moving, but it wasn't a good ball. And in, tack in the tackle there, Matthias Combra. And out comes the ball again to Derek Fox. Round Gary Siddall. Crossley gets it to Bibb. Gets the ball wide there to Danny Beach. But he's going nowhere as he's well tackled there by James Capaya. Derek Fox kicks through. And uh, Kittiman takes it. And brings it away, a good run in fact. And it's uh, number 11 in fact, Alan Dake in there, who's in on the tackle. Once again, and they're uh, nice little dummy there, around the play of the ball, but uh, Rovers tackling is good, they're in there once again. And... Uh, 
There's a long pass to uh, number two, Lato Atoy, and he's away. But well tackled there by Peter Smith. That's stalwart of Featherston Rovers. Darius Haley there. And uh, it's Richard Mars to come away with the ball, but he gets nowhere. Chris Bibb goes to the play the ball. Rovers trying to make progress out of their own 25 at the moment. Dakin there. Strong running lad, this. Fox on to Tim Slatter, he breaks one, two tackles. Good running there from Tim Slatter before he's effectively put down there by Joe Tepp. A good inside ball from Derek Fox on to Peter Smith. He gets the ball to John Crossley. This is wonderful play from all of us. Derek Fox dummies, puts it back to Crossley. And Crossley's knocked down there in there. That's great play from Pellison Rovers. Out it comes. Oh, a kick through, in fact, by David Jones. He's going for the line, but the ball's gone dead, and it'll be a tap on the 25, says Mr. Smith. That's good play there from Pellison Rovers. They certainly had the Papua New Guinea lads worried a little bit there. Good play from John Crossley and also from Derek Fox. There's a vehicle causing an obstruction on Allison Street. And here they come, these colourful lads from Papua New Guinea, trying to drive away from their own 25. L-W-T, Volvo D-350. Peter Smith and Derek Fox there, well in with the tackle. And uh, again, Rovers tackling effective there as uh, Papua New, New Guinea making no progress, but here comes a run there. From uh, number 24, that's Aribo Tomaka, who makes that uh, that break. The ball coming out left now. Oh, and that was a bad ball and a, a knock on. It's going to be the first scrummage of the game. And it's uh, Derek Fox to feed the ball into the Rovers. Uh, Featherston have won it, although there was a bit of it. Here's Derek Fox, gets the ball out to his wingman, Richard Mars, can he go? But that's good tackling there, that's good tackling indeed from James Capia. And uh, they, uh, Richard Mars then found himself knocked into touch, and it's another scrum down. This time the head and ball will go to Papua New Guinea, and it's Tony Keeler to feed the ball for the New Guineans. And it's won. Oh, but another knock on there. The uh, fullback, Matthias Kittiman, trying to uh, burst into the line there, took his eye off the ball, and it's another scrum down. This time, Derek Fox to feed. Derek Fox, Referee not quite happy with the uh, the scrummage at the moment. But this time it comes out to Featherston Rovers. John Crossley, Paul Lyman. And uh, a hard tackle there. A hard tackle there by uh, Aribo Tomaku. And uh, Paul Lyman drops the ball in the tackle and it's yet another scrum down. And it's out to Featherston Rovers against the head. But Tony Keeler shows how sharp he is there. And he's straight onto the ball, and Papua New Guinea come away with it. And that's good play indeed. And Kapia now plays the ball. And it's Matthias Combra driving forward there for Papua New Guinea. Yet again, about the half back. Over the halfway line, decides to go on his own. And Roy Henney, the, sec uh, the hooker there. Plays the ball to himself, and uh, referee Mr. Smith says that uh, Peter Smith was uh, not onside as he made that tackle, so it'll be a penalty to Papi in New Guinea. And they decide to go for touch. And they're now right into the Rovers 25 for the first time in the game. Now, what can these lads do? And it's going to be Aribo Taumaka, who uh, well, there seemed to be a little bit of obstruction there, but the uh, referee says it's OK. 
And 21, Balnamapo there, he's well tackled. But this is good running indeed from Latta. A toy, he's got the ball away, and there's a try for Darius Haley as he goes over and scores the first try on the Papua New Guinea's tour. And look how delighted these lads are. That was Darius Haley, the scorer of that try there. For Papua New Guinea. Darius Haley. The standoff half for uh, Papua New Guinea opens their account on this tour of Great Britain with a great try there. And a good chance here for Golden Papa to kick the extra two. And it's going to be uh, perhaps. And he's going to be uh, perhaps the most well known of the Papua New Guinean side, Bal Numapo, to uh, try and tag on the two points to that uh, try by Darius Haley there. By all reports, this lad's a, a very good centre. All the uh, reports that have come out of Papua New Guinea says that he's world class, this lad. Takes his time. Two points at stake here from the Papo. He kicks and straight through the middle. A lovely kick there. Well, well struck by Balnumapo. And Rovers find themselves six points to nil down. And it's going to be Derek Fox to set the game in motion once again. <laughs> Another deep kick. And this ball could go dead. In fact, it doesn't. It will be a dropout underneath Papua New Guinea's post. And it looks to be Tony Keeler, is it? To uh, drop out from underneath the post. That's a long, deep kick, goodness me. That's gone many a mile right down into the Rovers 25. What a kick that was indeed. And Rovers find themselves in their own half. Now they come from Alan Dakin. And uh, nobody seemed to want to be coming for that ball there. Dakin goes to the play of the ball. Derek Fox, once again at first man, throws a long ball out to Chris Smith. Oh, goodness me. And Kepi Say was almost away there as the ball was fumbled by Chris Bibb, went loose. And if Say could have picked that ball up, it was a try all the way. But indeed, it's a scrum down, a knock on. And the referee, quite rightly, is taking the first defence and it's heading ball to Papi New Guinea. It's going to be Tony Keeler to feed the ball. And uh, the referee's not happy with that at all. Feed up, he says. Feed up uh, Tony Staniforth and a penalty once again to Papua New Guinea. And it's Darius Haley to put to touch. And it's, he finds touch, not very far, but uh, it's gone in. That's what counts. To Here come New Guinea again. And uh, the ball moving right at the moment. Here comes Bernard Wiketsi driving forward. But it, Rovers tackling good at the moment. Keeler. That, and a, a, fa a fancy little pass there went to ground and uh, just shows that these lads uh, have a colourful way of playing to match their uh, bright yellow and red strip. Uh, Mr. Smith. And the ball out this time to Featherston Rovers, but once again, Tony Keeler is in quickly there. But uh, Rovers come away with it, Chris Bibb has it. But he's uh, he's well dumped there by Joe Tepp, the prop forward. Tim Slatter trying to drive away from his own 25. But uh, once again, Joe Tepp is in there, along with Atti Lomatopa. Sidol gets a good ball away to Paul Lyman. Paul Lyman, Paul Lyman, 
Derek Fox now out to Peter Smith running wide. He gets the ball to Ian Smells, who gets a good ball to Richard Marsh. Beats one tackle, but knocked down there. That's good play from Featherston this time. Oh, and the ball coming wide. Here's Lyman. Gets it to Crossley. Crossley. One ball to JV Jones, but it bounces off his body and into touch there as Featherston Rovers try to open the play out against the Papua New Guineans. Scrum down. <laughs> and it will be Tony Keeler to put the ball in. And it's won by Papua New Guinea. Crowd don't seem too happy about that one. Tony Keeler has the ball. They soon, certainly seem to run direct, these lads there. That's uh, Matthias Kittiman taking that one in the full back. Here's Balnamapo. And uh, he tries kicking through. But the ball's gone loose. And Papua New Guinea have got away with it. And number 23, Kepi Sayer there. Sidestepping his way on a sixpence there. Past two or three players. That's great play. Here comes Ber Bernard Mwakete. Darius Haley gets rid of it. Uh, Looked to be a little bit of obstruction. Referee see that says play on. Here's number nine. But he's in touch there. Number nine there. James Kapia. Trying to go for the corner like a good winman should. But he was knocked into touch and it's another scrum down. Um, referee Mr. Smith giving his commands. And the ball's in. And what a drive there, but Featherson have come away with it. It's Chris Bidcoin into the line. Well tackled there by Darius Haley and Tony Keeler. And now it's uh, Tim Slatter gets rid of the ball to Derek Fox. To Ian Smales, this youngster tries to make the ground, but he's lost the ball. And Papa New Guinea have it. It's time it's uh, Gary Siddall who's in on the tackle. And uh, this is good play. This is good play. Mm. Indeed, and I think there's a penalty here. Chris Bibb not allowing uh, number six there, Roy Henney, to play the ball. And it's Bal Numapo to uh, attempt to tag on the two points here from that penalty. Score at the moment, six points to Papua New Guinea and no points to Featherston Rovers. He's, um, he's very uh, careful with these kicks, he's Bal Numapo. He's not going to be hurried by anything the crowd says, I can tell you. But it was a beautiful technique that produced the two points of the last one. Weighs it up very carefully. This one as he comes up now to kick this ball for penalty. Toe ends it. But he's missed it. He's missed it. That's a bad miss indeed there from Balnamapo. And the score stays at six points to nil to, to uh, Papua New Guinea. Rovers De Derek Fox puts the ball deep there and brilliantly taken by Darius Haley. And he decides to boot downfield. Are we going to have an old-fashioned kicking duel here? No. Chris Bibb decides that the best thing to do is to take the ball in, and that's exactly what he does. Derek Fox goes to the play the ball. Paul Lyman now. Oh, but he's well met there. Well tackled by Joe Teff and loses the ball in the tackle. And Papi New Guinea have it again. Here comes uh, Ati Lamatopa. Oh, and this time, uh, not a particularly good ball. The ball's loose and Rovers have it. Uh, Alan Dakin dropped on the ball well there. Tim Slatter to Peter Smith. Oh, a long ball to Richard Martin. The ball goes loose and Papi New Guinea have it again. And they're trying to keep the ball alive at any time, but uh, I'm afraid this time it was uh, Roy Henney who knocked on there. And certainly we, uh, we're going to get some excitement from this game, there's no doubt about that. <coughs> As Derek Fox uh, puts the ball in the scrum as it comes out to Rovers, here's Johnny Crossley. Slips the ball to Chris Bibb. 
Derek Fox again. He's a, a real workhorse, this lad. As Ian Smales trying to drive through. There's no way through for him. Derek Fox at the play of the ball. Here's Paul Lyman running wide. Runs into a good tackle. And here comes Tim Slatter. He's driving through one tackle, through two tackles. That's good running from Tim Slatter. Making goes to the play of the ball, looks for Fox. Fox has Peter Smith coming on his, on his outside on the short ball there. Not able to uh, burst through to the post there. Johnny Crossley kicks through, it's a good one. It could be a try here for Rovers. The ball just kicked the dead there. Good defending from Papi Nugan in. It's a drop out from underneath the sticks. I wonder if uh, the ball will go as far as it did the last time these lads kicked from underneath their poles. And it's, uh, it's going to be uh, Darius Haley to drop out from underneath his own post. Takes his time. Oop. This time it's not gone the, the same sort of distance. Chris Bibb has the ball. Drives forward towards the Papua New Guinea 25. But he's, uh, he's tackled effectively there. Here's Alan Dakin. And the referee spots an infringement there. Uh, and it's a penalty to the Rovers here. Derek Fox wants charge of the ball. Decides to kick for touch, does exactly that. Finds touch. And here comes Ferguson now with a planned move. Derek Fox charging for the line. He puts it on to Paul Lyman. Paul Lyman, oh, he must be inches short there. Stanford goes to the play of the ball. And uh, the referee has decided that uh, the player was not five yards away from the play of the ball, and that will be a penalty to Papi New Guinea there. Players on the attacking side as well as the defending side have to be five yards away from the play of the ball nowadays, and uh, that was uh, well spotted by referee Mr Smith there, and a penalty to Papi New Guinea. And here come the New Guineans now. Oh, but uh, the ball's lost in the tackle there, and a knock on. It was uh, Haribo Tomaku who dropped the ball there. There's a chance for Rovers if he can win this one, and they have it. Derek Fox has got the ball there, he's held up by Tony Keeler. Paul Lyman tries to use that uh, well-known sidestep of his, but uh, slips on the ground. Oh, and Gary Sidall, a bad mistake there. A bad mistake from Sidall, and it's going to be a scrum down. He dropped the ball. There was no excuse for that. Took his eye off it for a moment. And uh, this time it's uh, Tony Keeler who comes away with it. And Papi and Nigini trying to attack from their own line. It was uh, Balnamapo who was well tackled there by Alan Dakin. Oh, that's a good ball, but uh, it's dropped. The referee says play on, and Chris Bribb has the ball. Looks to make the space, gets a good ball out to Ian Smell. He puts it on to Richard Marcia, where he might have been better uh, taking it in and drawing his man. John Crossley. Oh, and Paul Lyman has lost the ball. And Papi New Guinea had come away with it this time. This time it's Lato Atoy who comes away with the ball. And uh, Bernard Mukhetsi goes to the play the ball. Looks uh, looks there for Matthias Kittiman, this fullback who's trying to get involved in the play. Oh, and the uh, ball was well taken there by uh, Darius Haley, and they're trying to keep it alive. And the referee spots a knock on there that, or oh, is it a forward pass? I think he's. 
He's indicating a, a forward pass, pass perhaps there. And it's going to be uh, Rovers heading ball. And referee not happy with that one. And it goes again, and out it comes to Feathers Rovers. Johnny Crossley sidesteps past one man, lays it onto Chris Bibb. He's just caught there as he tried to break through, burst through the tackle. Johnny Crossley again. Lays it off to Ian Smales. Nick Fox. And he said all just manages to hang on to it there. Derek Fox again. Paul Lyman. Side steps one man. Still, there's no way through for the Rovers, but uh, they're looking dangerous at the moment. Peter Smith, he's going for the line. Oh, and just loses the ball, and there must be an offside decision here. As uh, Papa Nugini there caught offside, it's uh, Balnamapo who dropped on that ball and gave the penalty away. And uh, Derek Fox decides to go for the for Derek Fox to try and put two points on the board for uh, Featherston Rovers. And yes, it's there. Two points there for Featherston Rovers, which brings the score back to Featherston Rovers two and Papi New Guinea six after that early try from Darius Haley after only 10 minutes. 25 minutes on the clock. And it's uh, Papi New Guinea to set the game in motion through Tony Keeler. And the ball's kicked deep there. Chris Big Bib takes it well and drives away from his own 25. He's lost the ball though. And it's good the knock on, a scrum down. Good tackle there, a pat on the back from one of his teammates for Darius Haley, who effected that tackle on Chris Bibb. And the, uh, the New Guinea lads have it. Here's Balnumapo. Ball this time. Oh, and good play there. Good play from Kepisaya. Got his passing. Behind him, Balna Papa is acting half back. Then coming, running across this line. Oh, and they're keeping the ball alive. Here's Namapu. He gets the ball out there to Lato Atoy. He plays the ball to himself, and Atoy going for the line. But that's uh, that's good tackling there from Chris Bibb. And also from Davy Jones. Ball coming out now. Keeler puts a long ball out there. A long ball out to uh, Matthias Kittiman. Here's Balnumapu. Keeler gets the ball away. Here's a chance for Papi New Guinea. Oh, and my... And a try indeed. A try indeed. The ball kept alive there. Papi New Guinea refusing to go to ground with the ball. And that's the way rugby league should be played. And the second try is on the board. I don't know. And it's going to be Balnamapo to uh, attempt to uh, convert the try there. The try scored by uh, Matthias Combra, who's playing in the second row today for uh, Papua New Guinea. These, uh, these lads from Papua New Guinea, they certainly want to keep the ball alive. There's no doubt about that. The Mapo. And this time it's straight through the sticks. A good goal there from uh, Balnamapo. The Papua New Guinea was number 12, Matthias Combra, and that was converted by number 21, Balnamapo. And the score now lies at Featherston Rovers 2 and Papua New Guinea 12. The two good tries on the board from the visitors. Just on 30 minutes of the first half gone back. Derek Fox puts the ball deep. 
And uh, it's Gary Siddall on the tackle there. And they're showing some confidence now as Joe Tepp drove that one in there for... Oh, and this is good play. Well taken indeed by Tony Keeler, but he's lost the ball. And can Featherston do anything with it? Alan Dakin ducks under one tackle, hands off another man. Peter Smith to Derek Fox to John Crossley. Long ball out to Ian Smales, he takes it well. Johnny, Johnny Crossley at this time at the play of the ball. Gabby Siddall driving forward. But he's tackled there by Tony Keeler. Derek Fox, first man. Tim Slatter this time. Plays the ball out to Chris Bibb. Chris Bibb dummies and goes himself. But he's uh, held up there by Joe Tepp. And helping him in the tackle fullback, Matthias Kittimon. Derek Fox, short ball there to Peter Smith. He's held up. Oh, three, four yards short. Derek Fox kicks through. Oh, well taken there. Well taken indeed there. And a good ball out too. And this is good rugby from the Papa New Guineans. They're keeping the ball alive. What wonderful play there. Refusing to go to ground with the ball. You can see these lads really enjoy their rugby. Look at this. Tony Keeler now. He gets the ball inside. Beautiful play from Papier, there's no doubt that's where we're at. Right, Henny now. Enjoying the sunshine here at Featherston. And, uh, and uh, yeah, Balnuap really coming for that ball there, but uh, the pass wasn't on as Darius Haley kicks very deep indeed. And it's going to be Davy Jones, or rather, should I say, Richard Marsh, who goes back for that ball and takes it away. Ian Smales decides to go himself and runs straight into Roy Henney. Derek Fox. Oh, and a good break from Fox. But he's lost the ball. And Papua New Guinea have it again. Darius Haley was very quickly onto that ball. And uh, Matthias Kittim on. Well put down there by uh, Gary Siddall and Danny Beach. But Papua New Guinea keeping it alive still. This And this is Balnumapo. He slips a pass away. And look at this. The ball's going anywhere. They're passing the ball oh, all and, to all and sundry. Perhaps a little steadying down might have been in order there from the Papua New Guinea players, but uh, ball finally finds itself in touch and it'll be a scrum down with the head and ball to Featherston Rovers. <laughs> and it's out to Rovers. Now, and the referee spots an offside. Johnny Cross is there quickly, takes the tap. And looks for Richard Marsh, and he's going for the line. That was quick thinking there from Johnny Crossley. Rovers a chance to put some points on the board here now. Tim Slatter gets it away to. Gets it away to. Uh, oh, and uh, Davy Jones. Are they going to. Seeing Smales that lost the ball initially there, but Rovers have got it back. And there's Dakin going, driving straight for the line. Standing for the play of the ball, gets it away to Fox, to Smith. Fox is caught this time. It's good tackling from Papi New Guinea. Slatter gets it across. Him. There must be a chance if the ball goes wide here. Ian Smales. But again, the ball's lost. But it's gone backwards, says the referee. Smales plays the ball. It's Derek Fox with it now. Paul Lyman, but he's going nowhere. And it's fifth tackle. Johnny Crossley, he's looking sharp today, he's Crossley. Gets a long ball, it must be a try. Peter Smith is in. A good ball there from Johnny Crossley. He really has looked sharp today. And he got the ball away there to Peter Smith. And that's the first try for Featherston Rovers as Peter Smith goes in at the corner. Well played there from Johnny Crossley. Featherston Rovers try scorer there, number 12, Peter Smith. The uh, youngster Ian Smales, who's going to attempt to convert this uh, this try by Peter Smith. 
He's quite a way out. It will be a good kick if he uh, lands this one. But I've seen uh, Ian Smales play right through his, uh, his young career and my word, he's capable of landing this one. And just like Balnamapo, he's taking his time. He's not going to be hurried with it. And he gets some good height on it. It's a wonderful kick. A wonderful kick from Ian Smales. Lands that one. And Rovers are right back in this game now. Featherstone 8 and Papi New Guinea 12. And uh, that try coming not very long before the uh, half time hooter. A real boost for Featherstone Rovers. And it was uh, Tony Keeler there who kicked off. It's Chris Bibble re receives the ball. Beasts, it's one tackler there. And Rovers looking uh, a little more confident now to that score. Tim Slatter. And Tony Keeler, along with uh, Roy Henney. Made sure there was no break there from Featherston Rovers. Ian Smales who's just landed that uh, perfectly wonderful goal from the touchline. Plays the ball. Derek Fox wasn't a good pass, but uh, we expect Derek Fox, Fox uh, to take passes like that. He's a wonderful player, great player. Three and a half. And. Uh, the referee, the referee says uh, Tony Keeler put that one right into his own forwards' feet, and uh, I think he was absolutely right. And a penalty to Feathers and Rovers, and uh, still time for Featherston to put some more points on the board before half time, as Peter Smith. Initiates that movement, and it's Tim Slatter this time, who more or less tackles himself. Pete Smith again. What a workhorse this lad is. And I'm afraid he's been hurt in that tackle. And the referee calls for the trainer. And Peter Smith is all right to play the ball. Still looks a little bit groggy, but he uh, plays the ball and Alan Dakin takes it in. And uh, Rovers just five yards short of that uh, Papua New Guinea line now. And here's Tim Slatter. He's held up two yards short. And the referee spots an infringement there, not allowing uh, Tim Slatter to play the ball. And quick thinking by Derek Fox, there must be a try here. Ian Smales going for the corner. Oh! What, what a chance there was for Featherston Rovers there. And Richard Mars dropped the ball with a line at his mercy as Ian Smales had made the space for him. And Papi New Guinea get away with that one and also get away with the ball. Well, that was amazing. I said there'd be no shortage of excitement in this game and I was right. But really, Featherston Rovers should have uh, equalised the scores with a try there. Bernard Wiketsi there, plays the ball. And again, uh, refusing to go to ground with the ball, Matthias Combra. And he's held up that well there. That is Haley. Baldemarpo. Straight down uh, Davy Jones's locker there. Straight down his gullet. As good as a pass. Here comes Chris Bibb now. And uh, Derek Fox is buzzing at the moment and so is this lad Johnny Crossley. Gets the ball out to Peter Smith. Bit of a late tackle there on uh, Johnny Crossley. Referee hasn't seen it. And uh, Chris Bibb there. Should have played on there. Yeah, for sure. There's the ball. 
Oh, and it's Peter Smith here. Gets a long ball out to Johnny Crossley, but there's not a lot on. He decides to kick through for wingman Davy Jones, but the uh, ball's gone too far, and away comes Matthias Kittimon. Looking for the space. And it's almost time now, as Rovers have the ball again. But there goes the half-time hooter with the score at the moment for this Rovers 8 and Papua New Guinea 12. And, well, it could have been so much different if uh, if Richard Marsh had taken that pass and gone in at the corner as he should have done. But it's been a sparkling performance from uh, both sides, really. We've seen some attacking, good attacking football. We've seen some good hard tackling as well. And there's all to play for in the second half. Attention, please. There will now be a collection around the ground on behalf of the Rovers Development Fund. <laughs> Malnamapo leads his troops back onto the field for what promises to be a very exciting second half. We have a substitution on the Rovers' side as uh, Keith Bell has replaced Alan Dakin. Uh, it will remain to be seen where uh, where Keith plays, but I would imagine it will be second row for second row. For Featherston Rovers, number 14, Keith Bell replacing number 11, Alan Dakin. And uh, this time it's uh, Papua New Guinea, we're going to kick off the game. And I'm sure we're in for... 40 minutes of tremendous rugby league football now. As it's Tony Keeler who puts the ball deep, but well taken by Chris Bibb under his own post. But he's uh, tackled by the kicker himself, Tony Keeler. Yeah. Keith Bell there at first man. Lays it on there to Gary Sidall. Pete Smith. Again, Keeler is in the action. Derek Fox, Paul Lyman pushes off for Darius Haley as if he wasn't there. And uh, the ball pulled out, says referee Mr Smith by Roy Henney, and a penalty to Featherston Rovers. And it's Derek Fox to put to touch, and he finds a good touch. Lack of a ball at the moment causes a little bit of a hold up. And finally, it arrives from uh, out of the crowd. And the game's played on. Oh, and Paul Lyman almost breaks through there. It was a good tackle indeed from Roy Henney to stop him. This time it's Tim Slatter. Driving hard today, Tim Slatter. And uh, Keith Bell, Gary Siddall. Siddall trying to lay the ball off, but he'd nobody there. Derek Fox. Johnny Crossley. Out to Ian Smales. Ian Smales got a great ball out there. A great ball to Richard Mart. And the try is given. The try is given there as Richard Mass dives into the corner. The corner flag went over, but the referee said try. The touch judge was satisfied that it was a try. Good work from Ian Smiles there to put Richard Marsh in at the corner. Look at the moment, and it's Ian Smiles to try and put Rovers in front for the very first time in the game. Once again, it's an extremely difficult kick. But can we just remember into the first half and recall that one he put over from the touchline? A beautiful kick. Can he repeat the show? For the longest kick of the afternoon. He comes, he kicks it now, he hoists it in the water. It's a good, uh, a good attempt, but it goes wide at the right hand post. Not an easy effort there for, uh, for Ian Smales. But the score's now tied at 12 apiece. And what sort of answer do the Papua New Guineans have to that? Well, we're about to see as Tony Keeler places the ball to kick off. Once again, it goes deep. And it's well fielded indeed. 
And away come Featherstone Rovers again. Matthias Comra with the tackle there. Keith Bell onto Tim Slatter. Tony Keeler in with the tackle, but the ball was away by Tim Slatter. Johnny Crossley looks to get rid of the ball, decides to hang on, and that was perhaps the best option. Tony Staniforth goes from the play, the ball sees the gap, makes a good 10 yards. Keith Bell again to Derek Fox, who's playing at second man this, this half. Paul Lyman running wide, but uh, this time not making any real progress. Ball put very deep to Kepisea. Kepisea takes it and brings it away from his own line. Decides to go himself, goes towards the touchline, but Richard Marsh has him well weighed up. Matthias uh, kit him on now, the fullback. This time it's uh, Ati Lomatopa. He gets the ball away to Roy Henney. And he slips up. And it's good tackling from Rovers at the moment as Gary Sidall and Paul Lyman were in on that to tackle. And Tony Keeler puts a deep kick past Chris Bibb. Bibb turns, takes the ball on, goes himself, beats one tackler, and he's up to the 25 yard line. And Tony Staniforth again decides to go from the play the ball, but this time not as effectively as a couple of minutes ago. Tim Slatter. Looking to offload the ball, but un unable to get it away. And Peter Smith gets the ball away to Staniford. But a good tackle there in the end from Roy Henney. Oh, he smells as in the clear. He's got his wingman with him. And he's done it his way over. What a magnificent try. Julian smells. What a magnificent try. He's having a great game today. Showing the class we've always known he's capable of. What a good try, using his wingman as a foil. Ian Smales puts Featherston Rovers in front for the first time in the game. And this time it's Derek Fox who's going to attempt to tag on the two points to that uh, tremendous try from Ian Smales. But I'm afraid he's well wide with that kick. And the score now remains at uh, Featherston Rovers 16 and Papua New Guinea 12. And Featherston have come out with a real det determination in the second half. I don't know what Peter Fox has said to them, but uh, it certainly got them going. And this time it's uh, Bernard Wachetzi who wants to uh, kick the ball off. Just making sure everybody's on side, and it's up very deep, so deep in fact that it goes straight into touch, and it'll be a penalty to Featherson Rovers. It's a bad mistake there. And uh, Ian Smales is coming forward, I'm sure, to uh, find touch here for Featherson Rovers. And uh, something we don't see all that often is placing the ball to kick it into touch. Nothing wrong with that, and he finds a good touch. And now here come Rovers again, and Keith Bell seems to have added a new dimension to the Rovers side. Tony Staniforth. There's the ball, Keith Bell. Derek Fox. Peter Smith comes running hard. Roy Henney tackles him. Johnny Crossley. A good ball there to Chris Bibb. He gets a beautiful ball out to Derry Beach. He's going for the corner. And he's just held up there and uh, knocked into touching goal. And there will be a tap on the 25, but that was good play again from Featherston Rovers. They're looking really sharp at the moment. 
And uh, Papi Nugini wasting no time as uh, Bernard Wakezi takes the ball away, but he's tackled there by uh, Tim Slatter and also by Gary Siddall. And the ball's gone loose in that tackle as uh, Roy Henney dropped the ball. And Featherston have it. Up comes in, smells with the ball. He's got a knock on the head, unfortunately. The play goes on, and Johnny Crossley's in space again. And oh, what a pity there! He just slipped and was unable to make more of that situation. And uh, there's uh, there's Paul Lyman. Again, the space is there if uh, the ball goes out. Derek Fox and held up right on uh, about 10 yards out there. Bend hard all the time now, 10 metres away. Goes out to Bell, Bell just a little short run. Pete Smith coming on to that pass from Keith Bell, but uh, no way through on this occasion. Keith Bell decides to kick through, and well taken there indeed by Bernard Wickettsy. Emerging in this uh, second half as the one man who seems to be holding back in the beginning together. And, uh, and <laughs> is determined to keep the ball alive because he was being dragged out of the touch there by Featherston. And anywhere, anywhere he flicks the ball, he's picked up. In fact, here come uh, Papi New Guinea and, uh, once again. They're trying to drive away from their own 25. They've not seen the Rovers half so far uh, in this period. It's Matthias Kittiman who was tackled well there. Tony Keeler gets the ball away to Darius Haley. He bursts his way through. Oh, and makes a little bit of a hash of the pick up of the referee. Says. Uh, Says that was okay. He said there was no knock on. He must have been watching a different game to me. But uh, well, the referee, he's the man in charge. Bernard Wickettsy with the ball now. And uh, the referee rubs uh, rubs the tackles off there once again. Mr. Th Mr. Smith there. I'm not too sure about his decision, but. Uh, Oh, and this is good running there. That's good running from Atiyah Lomotalpa. Tony Keeler puts a really long ball out there to Lauter Atoy. He gets the ball away to Baldemarpo. And he's a strong running player, this. He's still going. He's looking for support. He gets the ball away. And a try. What a magnificent try. From Kepi Sayer, and that was all through good work from uh, Balnamapu, who kept the ball alive, refused to go to ground, refused to be knocked down, held held himself up in the tackle, got the ball away to Kepi Sayer, and a good try to Papa New Guinea there. And it's Balnamapu once again to try and tag the two points on here for Papa New Guinea. The scores once again level at 16 points each. And once again, taking all the time in the world. And it's a, a fine kick there from uh, a fine kick there from Balnamapo. Puts uh, Papi New Guinea back in front at 18 points to 16. And the conversion was by number one, number 21, sorry, Balnamapo. And Featherson Rovers get the game in motion once again. And uh, Papi New Guinea will have taken heart from that uh, that try there. We're having indeed a substitution on for Papi New Guinea as uh, Matthias Kittimon has gone off and he's been replaced by Daddy Covey. Tony Keeler out to his halfback partner there, Darius Haley. Balnamapo, he puts the ball inside, but uh, who comes up with it? Well, you guessed it, it's Derek Fox and Mr. Smith gives us a little bit of area back uh, uh, gymnastics there as he goes head over heels. And here's Danny Beach. This time, no way through. Keith Bell. 
puts out a long pass, finds Paul Lyman. But uh, again, tackling is good. John Crossley gets it away to Tony, Tony Staniford, but he wasn't uh, he wasn't expecting that pass. I don't think the referee says knock on. And a scrum now. And Mr. Blatant knock on there, it cost us a try. And, then <laughs> and uh, a penalty to uh, to Featherston Rovers here. Going over the top. The the top. Uh, as the three Smith. He meters away from the Papua New Guinea line. Derek Fox takes his kick. Doesn't make a great deal of distance with it, but he sets Featherston Rovers. Peter Smith now. Indeed, it's uh, Derek Fox. And. Uh, and listen, have a move on here. The wall's created four men in it. And Peter Smith, uh, but uh, Atti Lomatopa had got that one weighed up. Keith Bell onto Gary Siddall. Gary Siddall, Gary Siddall moving across the centre field, 11 metres away. Back across to Bell once again. Bell's Peter Fox, Peter Fox. Peter Smith gets it away to Derek Fox. Well taken by Derek Fox, uh, indeed. Tony Stanley for this time goes to the uh, play the ball. Well, Keith Bell running from Bell, first man, Bell, gets a good ball out, out there, to, good long Tim ball out to Tim Slatter, but he's unable to do anything with it. Indeed, I think, I'm not sure, but I think he's lost the ball. No, he hasn't. Referee says Featherston still have it. I don't think uh, Lauter at all is too happy about that. He, I think he thought he had the ball there. Pete Smith, Derek Fox. Ian Smales and uh, playing a little bit of uh, Papua New Guinea style rugby here for the St Rovers and the end result's about the same as the uh, ball's knocked on and Papua New Guinea come away with it. Tal Macca there plays the ball and that's good running from Lomatopa, he gets the ball away Roy Henney, but he's lost it. But it's regained there by uh, Aribo Tomaku. But the referee says there was a knock on there, and there's going to be a substitution for Featherston Rovers. Because Paul Geary is ready to come on. Paul Geary replacing number 10, Gary Siddall. And Gary Siddall's a man to come off as Paul Geary goes on. And Papi New Guinea also uh, asking for a substitution as Thomas Rombuck comes on the field. Nobody else has come off yet. And the, uh, the touch judge is waving his flag here. Mr Smith, I don't think, knows that uh, Papua New Guinea at the moment have 14 players. They have 14 players and a trainer on the field at the moment. And finally it's sorted out. And Thomas Rombuck can take his place in the game. And uh, Crossley onto Chris Bibb. He sides his way past one tackle. And it's Crossley backing up there, who's held up some 10, 15 yards short. The ball kicked into touch there and has scrum down. But it will be heading ball to Featherston Rovers. And the substitution for Papua New Guinea was number 22, Thomas Rombuck, replacing number six, Roy Henney. And uh, well, out to Featherston Rovers, John Crossley, Chris Bibb, Crossley. This is good play, oh, and the ball just uh, just short there of uh, Danny Beach was having to reach out too far for it, unable to catch the ball, and another knock on brings the scrum down. And uh, Keeler puts the ball in and it comes out to Papua New Guinea. And it's substitute Daddy Covey there, trying to gain some ground for uh, Papua. And this is the second substitute, Thomas Rombuck, taking a drive this time. And it's uh, all in the pack. It's uh, Bernard Wakezi there, but at the moment Rovers uh, not in allow allowing them to make any ground at all, and that's a bad ball. But it's uh, retrieved well by De Derek Ovey, and Derek Ovey has it again, and he gets it away to Balnamapo. 
And uh, good passage of play there from the uh, Papua New Guinea players. And a long, deep kick there from Darius Haley. But uh, Chris Bibb, as safe as Hauser, takes it well. But uh, there's no way past Thomas uh, Rombuck there. And I'm afraid Paul Geary has lost the ball in that tackle. And uh, Tony Keeler very keen to get the ball in his hands there. Ball's in. And. Uh, well, I thought he was out to Papua New Guinea, but the referee says no. Home feet, penalty to Featherston Rollways. Ian Smales is given the chance of finding touch. And once again, he's going to place the ball to, uh, to put it away into touch. Score at the moment is uh, Featherston Rollways 16, Papua New Guinea 18. And that's a smart kick there from Ian Smales. Uh, the Papua New Guinea player thought he touched the ball there. He signalled to the touch judge that he had touched the ball. The touch judge agreed and it will be a scrum down. And it will be... Uh, And the referee satisfied with his scrum anyway. It will be Derek Fox to uh, put the ball in. And this time it's Derek Fox who's caught for feeding. And uh, a very quick tap taken there. And the referee said he's not happy about that. And so. Papi New Guinea reform and decide okay, to kick for touch. The last 10, 12 minutes, it seems to have slowed down just a bit from the slam bang affair and very exciting football that we were seeing in the first half and the early stage of the second. But uh, Papi New Guinea still leading by two points. Uh, New Guinea now to uh, tap Guinea the ball. Team. They're in possession on the Featherston Rovers. And that's good running there from Bernard Wachetzi. The ball switched out once again to loose forward. Uh, Kanaku, Kanaku gets the uh, ball moving. And uh, Taumaka, uh, well tackled. But Papi New Guinea are on the attack again here. But an impossible pass really given out there and Featherston Rovers come up with it. And they'll be happy about that. And Featherston Rovers big pop forward and starts to, to come forward. And uh, all this time going to uh, Keith Bell. And on to Paul Geary who finds the gap and charges forward and he's just, just caught there but he's still going. The tackle not uh, fully affected there. That's good running from Paul Geary who found the gap beautifully there. Here's Pete Smith. And uh, the ball meant there for uh, Johnny Crossley, but he come inside, and it was uh, Ian Smales who finally retrieved it. And uh, Lauter Atoy there, penalised for not allowing Ian Smales to play the ball. Smales kicks for touch. To touch then, the good one. Tony Stadiff comes forward to take the tap and here's a chance for Featherston Rovers to put another try on the board. Paul Geary, he takes the first try and he's made a good 10 yards there as he burst through the tackle of Atai Lomotopa. And Tim Slatter held up a yard short. And Smith gets it away to Bell. To Derek Fox, he dummies. Slips past one player, slips past two. The ball's still going. Tim Slatter, out to Ian Smales, to Chris Bibb. Oh, and Chris Bibb knocks on. And, uh, the chance was there for Featherston Rovers once again. But I'm afraid it's a scrum down. We're going 15 minutes to run. Tony Keeler comes out. His daddy's is Haley. He's lost it. And John Crossley's come up with it. Plays the ball quickly. Derek Fox gets it away. 
The ball's loose. Valdo Marpo. He's on his way. Oh. And uh, the referee spotted a knock on there. As Valdo Marpo was on the charge. And uh, it's for the some Rovers to feed through. Derek Fox. And Derek Fox hands on to John Crossley. He done his to Ian Smiles and loses the ball. And Papi New Guinea come up with it. And there's a massive gap at the blind side if they run it, but uh, it's filled in by Paul Geary. And well filled in too because he in fact. He fakes the tackle there on Bernard Wicketti. Good tackle in there from Tim Slatter and Paul Lyman. And it's Paul Lyman who's in again on the tackle, but the ball slipped away. And that's good running, in fact. That's good running. And he keeps away from the touchline well, and there'll be a penalty here as uh, Tim Slatter was not allowing number 23 there, Kepi Sayer, to play the ball. It's booted to touch by Bernard Wicketsi, and he's really keen to get the, uh, the game in motion again. But, uh, Karibo Tomok Maku takes the tap. Darius Haley, he slipped away from the tackle. He's in the clear. He decides to go inside. Oh, and... The ball was a bad one, the pass was a bad one. And Feathers and Rovers, though, are uh, judged to have knocked on there. And uh, it will be scrum down. And so it's going to be a bit of a let off for Papi New Guinea, and almost the first time in the past five or so minutes. And the head and ball's gone to Papi New Guinea. From that knock on, uh, or alleged knock on there by Feathers and Rovers. Here's the substitute, that's uh, Daddy Covey. And he runs into three or four Feathers and Rovers tacklers there. Can they make something out of this one? As the ball's moved across, picked up by Rombach. Rombach takes another five yards, five metres inside. And uh, Combra there, trying to burst through the tackles of, uh, again, two or three Feathers and Stalwarts. Slamatopa so now. Gets the ball away to Keeler, to Haley. He's Darius Covey slips it inside there. And uh, it was uh, Bernard Wicketsi there held up some uh, three or four yards short. And the ball's loose. And Johnny Crossley has it. And Featherson now have got to try and drive away from their own sticks. Keith Bell, but he's going nowhere. Well tackled there by Joe Tepp and by Tony Keeler. Paul Geary. And again, that's very, very good tackling. This time substitute Thomas Rombuck. Tony Staniforth, he's got to the 25 or thereabouts, but it's the last tackle coming up. So the ball will be booted downfield here by Ian Smales. And well taken there. Well taken by number 14, Danny Colway. The ball was just slipped away from him, he went backwards. He slipped through one tackle. But Chris Bibb has him wrapped up. Lauta Atoy. On to Lomatopa. It's uh, Ian Smales who made the tackle there. Substitute Rombuck there, driving forward. Tim Slatter and Tony Staniforth have got, it, got him wrapped up. Tony Keeler to Darius Haley. Balnamapu, he gets the ball away there to the latter a toy. And Malnamapu is down. Looks like hamstring trouble. He's still still down. Is uh, Namapu as play goes on, and uh, Taumaku was trying to pull away from the tackle of Keith Bell there. Kobe, and it's a good up and under, and brilliantly taken by Chris Bibb. As Joe tapped the prop forward, came charging in. Derek Fox, he runs into Darius Haley and Joe Tepp again. 
This time Paul Lyman goes from the play the ball. But well wrapped up there by Tomaku Peter Smith. And thankfully, uh, Balnamapo is restored. Perhaps it was only cramp rather than hamstring. And well picked up there. That ball from uh, Johnny Crossley, well picked up by Davy Jones. Derek Fox puts the ball deep. Ball bounces awkwardly, but it's taken there by Kepi Sayer. But he's met by uh, three Featherson tacklers, including Danny Beach. Andy and Smales, the two centres, along with Chris Bibb, the full-back there. And uh, Lamatopa slips the ball away there to Darius Haley. But uh, that strong tackle in there from uh, Tim Slatter and once again Ian Smales. And uh, Tamaku trying to slip away. And he chance to get the ball away there, if only the support had been there. Peter Smith... Finally came in to cover the ball, make sure the pass didn't get away. Keeler at the play of the ball. Namapu sells the dummy. Goes past one, goes past two. Only the fullback to beat. And slips past the fullback as well. He's a strong running lad. This ball Namapu. But eventually the cover of Peter Smith and Tony Staniford got to him. And that's uh, Lauter Toy who tries to make something of that situation. Keeler. Out to Kove. And uh, a little bit of uh, juggling there by Davy Jones, but he's, uh, he's managed to come up with the ball for Feathers and Rovers. And uh, as play goes on this time, it's Keith Bellows down injured, but it's, he's back on his feet again now. And Tim Slatter there trying to come away from his own line. And this time it's Paul Lyman. But uh, slips over and straight into the tackle there from Bernard Wakexi. Here comes Kepi Sayer. Bursts his way past Danny Beach. And bursts his way past Derek Fox and Ian Smales and beats Danny Beach again. And Atul Atayalomotopa gets a brilliant ball out there. To Lau to a toy. This is good play from Papi New Guinea. It's Bernard Wicketsi who goes to the play the ball. Matthias Combra. He's going nowhere. Tony Keeler. Valdemarpu. This time uh, Paul Geary. And Paul Lyman effect the tackle. Oh, this is good play again. This is good play indeed. As Thomas Rombug goes for the line and scores the try. Thomas Rombug, the substitute, goes in there for another try for Papi New Guinea. But in the score now, a Papua 22 points and Featherston Rover 16. So, once again, Bal Namapo, who's just been adjudged as man of the match for today to uh, try and tag on two points for Papua New Guinea. He lines the ball up, takes one, two, three, and four steps backwards, and he's uh, again not going to be hurried. But this time, he slices the ball, Past the right hand post. So, so the score stays at Papua New Guinea 22 and Featherston Rovers 16 with only six minutes to go. Can Rovers pull something out of the fire? Only time will tell, but there's not a lot of time left for them to do it. So five minutes of this game left and Featherston Rovers have got six points to get back and, uh, to prevent Papua New Guinea from registering their very first... Lauter the toy, wrapped up there by Paul Geary. And a dummy there by Darius Haley as he tries to burst past Paul Lyman. But Paul Lyman goes straight down for the legs and tackles him well. This time it's Combra 
Try scorer in the game, Combra, and Wiketsi now. He's had a good game today, uh, as Bernard Wiketsi has really wanted the work. Tony Keeler. Oh, and Davy Jones uh, makes a hash of it. Make a mess of the pickup, which really should have been presented to them on the plate. And uh, it's, uh, Lautato, this time it's uh, Atsi Lomatopa who tries to uh, badge his way there past John Crossley and Tony Sammyford. And Matthias Combra. But he's lost the ball and Featherston Rovers have it again. Now then, can Featherston do anything with it? Tim Slatter. And uh, he fell. Paul Lyman. He slips away from the tackle. Oh, and he's on the charge. Paul Lyman's on the charge. And a brilliant tackle there by Valmont Gramampo. Just holds him on the 25 yard line. Phyllis Rovers in with a chance here. Dave Jones. And. Uh, and out it comes again, Featherston Rovers, Derek Fox, Keith Bell. But there's nothing like he gets slips the ball away though to Tony Staniforth. The last tackle coming up. Paul Geary's at the play of the ball. What are Featherston Rovers going to do here? It's a kick through from Derek Fox. A little chip. Oh, and well taken. Well taken indeed there. And there's. Uh, it's play on now as Papi New Guinea in their own 25 trying to burst away. In fact, uh, the kick goes right through and it's Chris Bibb. Uh, well tackled there by Lauter Toy. And uh, Chris Bibb not being allowed to play the ball. Lauter Toy is penalised for that. The tap's taken by Ian Smales onto Derek Fox. And he's tackled there by uh, Tony Keeler. Tony standing for the play the ball now. Peter Smith. And, uh, oh, and Paul Geary knocks on. And, uh, it's another scrum down here. And this time it will be uh, Tony Keeler who will be feeding the ball for Papua New Guinea. In he goes, and it's out to Papua New Guinea. And New Guinea have it through uh, Darius Haley there. But he's wrapped up by his opposite number, John Crossley. And uh, cleverly there, Crossley let uh, Haley run the five yards and then tackled him. Instead of uh, Wiketsi there driving forward, instead of tackling him straight away and uh, being penalised. Thomas Rumbuck, the substitute there, tackled by Paul Geary. The ball goes out there to Keeler. He's looking to get, a, get rid of the ball. In fact, I think uh, he did actually lose it in the tackle there, but the referee didn't see it. And the ball kicked through on onto Chris Bibb. But he's as safe as houses with those. And he's still up and he's still going. Well played, Chris Bibb, indeed. And uh, it was uh, Atty Lomatopa who made the tackle in the end, but Chris Bibbs hurt there in Smales. And out it comes again, Keith Bell. Well, Feathers might as well open it out now, very little time left. And here they come, trying to open it out. Derek Fox finds the space. And, well, perhaps he might have been better putting it onto John Crossley, but he did try to make the break so that uh, there was extra, extra space for Crossley to run into there. But the ball's still alive, as Derek Fox has it once again. And... Uh, He's uh, tackled there by Darius Haley, and time's running out for Featherston Rovers now. Paul Geary charging forward, and here comes Stanford. He's going forward. He's no support. There goes the final hooter.
and Papua New Guinea have won their first match of this inaugural tour of Britain with a 22 points to 16 margin in a very entertaining game here at uh, Post Office Road, Featherstone Rovers. These uh, teams have really given their best. Both sides have played some excellent rugby league football and uh, it's been a pleasure to watch indeed.